Uh, we're looking at graphing sinusoidal functions with a phase shift on Khan Academy. So here's the problem. You might take a moment, give it a shot. We are going to solve it together. I'm going to use Desmos to solve it. Um, and let's just break it down piece by piece. So first of all, they say they want the function in this form f of x equals a times the cosine of bx plus c plus d. So in order to uh, get an equation in this form, let's find out all the information we need. First of all, we need to find the period of the function. It's a cosine function. It tells us there's a maximum at pi 9. Here it is, pi 9. And a minimum at the point 3 pi over 4 or 1. So what we can do is look at the distance between pi up here, and then it's minimum. This is cut off in the image that the student sent to me. But there's a point down here, uh, or excuse me, over here, that's 3 fourths of pi and has a height of 1. So from 3 fourths to pi, how far is that? From 3 fourths to 1 is a fourth of a pi. But the period goes from a peak to another peak. So we know the distance from this maximum down to the minimum down here is only a fourth of pi. So the whole distance here is twice as large as that. Twice as large as a fourth is a half of pi, so it's pi over two. All right, that's our period from one peak to the other here. And I just used the minimum that's right in the middle of those two peaks and doubled that distance. Now I'm thinking about my midline. My midline is the center of this function, and it's the center of the heights of 9 and 1. So I'm going to do 9 plus 1, and then divide that by 2, and that's 5, and that's where my midline will be. The amplitude is going to be the distance from a peak, 9 to the midline, 5. So 9 minus 5 is 4. Excuse me, four. And now I'm in a position to, to start writing my function. I'm going to say f of x equals now, A is representing our amplitude. It's, it's related to the amplitude. The absolute value of A is your amplitude. So here, I'm going to guess that it's 4. It could be negative 4, but we'll leave it. And the cosine of B equals, I'll type it right here, B equals 2 pi over the period. Okay, so it's 2 times pi over the period. So it's going to be 2 pi divided by our period, which is, We'll put parentheses pi over 2. Now bear with me, we'll simplify this. But that's always going to be the b value. Times x, starting to get a cosine wave. Uh, c will represent, in the way they've written this, since uh, c, uh, the, the coefficient of x has not been factored out, so it's just bx plus c. c is the product of, the, of b, whatever the b value will be, and the phase shift. So we'll come back to that. It's the product of your actual, your phase shift and, and the B value. But D, the D value, that's just your midline and that's just five. So here we have our, our function. Let me try to change the scale here so that we're going in radians, not on the Y axis, on the X axis, go at pi. And I'm gonna zoom in here just to kind of match what I see in this picture here. And you know what, let's make it blue so it looks like the image. Okay, so you can see that this peak right here is pi over nine, and that this is three fourths, uh, three pi over four comma one. That's interesting because here, um, it looks like we've basically got the graph we need, right? Here's pi over two, Here's pi over 4, 1. So it looks like we don't actually have to deal with any kind of phase shift. So we can simplify this. 2 pi over pi over 2. Uh, we just multiply 2 pi by 2 over pi. Right? You divide by a, a fraction. You keep the numerator and multiply by the reciprocal of your denominator. And that's going to mean you multiply 2 by 2, which is 4. So you have 4 pi and then over pi, which is just um, 4 pi over pi is 4. So I think our function is, I'll, I'll call it g of x here, g of x, I'm going to call it f of x, f of x equals 4 times the cosine of 4x plus 5. So that's our function. And now let's suppose you had a phase shift. Like maybe that's throwing us off. Maybe it was supposed to be not pi comma 9, um, but let's say... Uh, 
let's say, I don't know, five fourths pi or something. So let's just create a point for a second where the x value is, oops, where the x value is five pi over four and nine. So you see that point right there, we wanna hit that point, but we're not quite there. And let me call this g of x, okay. And I'm gonna hide this function. So here's our answer to our previous one, and we've gotta move it over. So let's say we have to do a phase shift here. So what we would do to get it to move over, the appropriate amount in this form that they're giving it to us, I'm gonna call this h of x now, um, you would add some value c, but how much do you add? Well, the actual phase shift is from pi to 5 fourths pi. So think about what you're adding. You have 1 pi to 1 and a fourth, right? So you're adding a fourth of pi. But if you type in a fourth of pi, which is pi over 4, you can see it's not working. Because you have to, when you're adding this form, you have to also multiply this by the b value. This value is the product of the phase shift times the b value. So, so that means you need to multiply this pi over four by four, which just gets us pi. And then that would hit the point that we need to right here. So we, we've shifted it over that amount. So this value, I'm gonna drag this out so you can see it, sorry. This value, when you're writing it in this form, is always the product of this coefficient and the actual phase shift that you see happening horizontally on the graph. All right, hope that helps.